My name is Ilse van Kriekinge and I'm working as an ICT consultant trainer in Belgium and I would like to welcome you to msexchange.org. In this video tutorial I would like to show you how you can take advantage of some built-in exchange management shell scripts to set client permissions on public folders in your exchange organization. Once you have deployed Exchange 2007 SP1 and when you have a look through the directory structure of your exchange server you will notice a directory called scripts. In that, in that directory there are quite a few scripts available for you that can help you change, manage or optimize your exchange environment. I would like to talk to you about today the four scripts that are available to manage the public folder client permissions. What I did is I copied these four scripts from that location to another directory on my C drive. So here you see them. Add users to PF Recursive is the first one. That will allow you to add users to a public folder and its subfolders. The second one, Remove Users, will actually allow you to remove a user with a permission from a public folder. Replace User will actually allow you to replace an existing permission from a user with another one. And the last script will allow you to replace a user with another user, thereby keeping the same permissions. So let's have a look. When I check my public folder organization, Get Public Folder, I'll ask him to give me an overview of public folder 2 and give me the subfolders. Yeah, and I want him to show me the public folder client permissions that have been given on that particular public folder. When running this single line, I can see that on PF2 there is a user called Andy that has owner permission, and I can see that there is a subfolder where Andy has got owner permissions as well. I would like to add Kevin to the list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, OK, add users to PF Recursive to PF Recursive. I don't need to specify the extension PS1 because he will know that. He will look in the current location to find that script. I need to specify three parameters. The first parameter is the one that I need to use to specify that I want him to add permission to this public folder and all its subfolders. The other parameter that I need to use is user, because I need to specify the username that I would like to give permissions, which is in my case, Kevin. And then the last thing I need to do is I need to add a parameter called permissions, where I can say, OK, I want you to give user Kevin on that public folder and all the subfolders the following permission, and let's make him an owner as well. I can specify a permission as a role, owner, creator, reviewer, contributor, or I could specify specific access rights like create items, read items, and so on. When I press enter, he will simply do what I ask him. So by running the script, he will actually add a user to that public folder and all subfolders, as you can see when I request the permissions again. The second script that we can use is remove users. We can actually use a script to re remove a user from a public folder and all subfolders. The script is called remove user from PF recursive and I need to specify as I had to in the add permissions. I need to specify the top public folder. Voila, so I want him to have a look at PF2 again and all the subfolders and I want him to remove the user Kevin. So by running remove user from PF recursive, specify the parameter top public folder PF2, specifying the parameter user, he will actually remove user Kevin from these folders. Since I'm removing permissions, he will always ask me for confirmation. I say yes twice, and when I ask for the permissions again, I will see that Kevin is gone from the list. The third script that I wanted to talk to you about is replace a user. As you can see, Andy has been given owner permission. I don't want that. I want to replace him with reviewer. What I can do is I can run the script called replace user. Replace user. I need to make sure that I type this correctly. Replace user permission on PF recursive. That's the name of the script. And I'm going to say, well, have a look at this top public folder. BF2, so again the same parameter, top public folder. I want you to have a look at the user Andy, and I really do want you to replace the existing permissions with the permission of reviewer. 
When I press enter, he's going to prompt me and he's going to say, hey, you're going to remove for that user the current permission. If you say no, what he will do is he will out review to the owner access rights. This is quite useful if you say someone has got create items, I want to give that someone also read items so that you simply just add the new role instead of replacing it. I'm just going to say yes because I really want you to replace it. When I re-ask him for the permissions, I will see that Andy has got now reviewer access rights. Next to replacing a user with another permission, the last script that can be very useful is replace user with user on PF recursive. This little script will allow you to go to a top public folder and all child or subfolders and to replace the permissions from one user with another user. So I want him to just have a look at PF2 and replace Andy with a new user which is called the parameter is called user new with Kevin. So by entering this line what I will do is I will run a script called replace user with user on PF recursor. I will replace the user old Andy with the user Kevin on the public folder PF2 and click enter. He will ask me again to confirm because I'm going to remove the user. So I'm going to say yes, remove remove Andy and replace him with Kevin. So checking the client permissions again will give me this list. I've replaced Andy with Kevin. So this is the use of these great for building scripts. Of course it's possible to create your own using the shell commandlets that you've got available. Hope you enjoyed this. This was Ilse van Kriegingen. Hope to see you again. Bye bye.